you're watching this, it's probably because you've done something like I did to my Helix, mine six. And I followed the instructions to the T. And you can end up in a place where your Helix will not boot up, it will not do anything. And it seems like there is nothing you can do. You can look up factory reset and it refers more to just pressing a combination of buttons and turning on the power switch. You can try to use as many USB cables as you want. I tried five of them, by the way, and three different computers and still no success. So I'm going to post how I fixed it first and then uh, talk about, well, what caused it, I guess. Well, no, I'll just go right into what caused it. Hopefully this video is not too long. Anyway, so here's the instructions that we've probably all seen. And check mark and everything that I did. And this thing talks about if you're doing your Helix hardware, you follow this and it's, oh, don't worry. Well, mine never went past that. And there's a couple of things that might've went wrong, but I wanna know device must be reset. What is that exactly does that mean? Does that mean turn on and off the power? Does that mean hold down button six and 12 and turn on and off the power? Doesn't really define, it didn't really matter. None of those things fixed it. So what did fix it? Coming up. After much searching, I found somebody that talked about using your Line 6 updater and you use it offline. And the updater is what would find my Helix floor. The HX edit just kept on saying disconnected. So, and it also talks about, talked about this offline mode. And I think that was a huge key. So you need to make sure that your Line 6 updater is current. You do have to go to the Line 6 website and click on it and update that. But once you have that part done, you should be able to, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in. I have another product here I need to do an update on anyway. So plug in my stomp. And I already know that my HX edit is up to, at this point, 3.70. There it is. So I want to update this device. Right now we're at the uh, 2.5. Click on this guy. And then from this list, it tells you what to follow. I feel like the HX edit gave me this same list too, but I, didn't really do any. I mean, it, it, that's where it locked it up. It started the update, but then it froze up and got stuck. And I did not lose internet connection. I did not lose any power or anything like that. It just got stuck. So I really don't appreciate the way these instructions are written as if you're an idiot, if you get your product locked up. Um, as I checked off everything one at a time. So, in this case, I'm gonna hit this update and then click continue and accept. And then it starts doing the update. And these are pretty much the same bullet points that are on that printed update. And uh, let's see, here's a good example. My computer wants to restart right now. What a piece of junk. Um, it's not going to. Anyway, after running this process, my floor came back to life and it took the update and everything was fine. But 
I feel like these instructions that you get here, this guy, beats into you over and over again. Go ahead and update Line 6 Updater. Okay, I did that. Then update HX Edit and back it up. Okay, I did that. Those things were done. I don't remember if I logged out of the updater or if I just left it running in the background, but I'm pretty sure I logged it off because in these instructions it says don't have any other programs running, don't have any other thing going on, just pay attention to the updater. So through the prompts in HX Edit, that's where I got the failure. So I, I don't know. I hope that uh, maybe by going to your Line 6 updater and logging in offline, offline mode, and then doing your update through that, hopefully you will not have to spend hours and hours searching the internet, searching YouTube, searching the forum on what to do to fix the problem. And I'm not 100% sure if anybody else is really talking about the Line 6 updater as much as maybe they need to because everything seems to be focused on HX edit. So um, my HX edit is up to date and this is just about done. So we'll probably see it complete here in just a second. And that's the same steps you do for your Helix floor. But don't have any other programs up and running with this either and run it in offline mode. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pause because this might take forever. So this is just about done. And I believe when it does this, it starts to just rebuild your presets in your device. So here we go. So firmware, this is the message that I got also after. Um, I got my floor updated and now you just go ahead and follow the rest of the instructions I think on the stomp you press button C and D and turn it on and it'll basically reset it back to factory so if you have anything you, that you built that you want to save make sure that you have it saved but I, again, I spent a ton of time on this yesterday and I mean, probably at least five or six hours. And I guess what finally clicked is HX edit feels more like the software that builds the amplifier models and the line six updater is the firmware that's in your hardware. And it felt like the problem was probably more aligned with that line six updater and that fixed it. So hopefully this saves you a lot of time. Uh, post in the comments if this was helpful. Um, I'm sure somebody else has a video like this, but I couldn't find it. So I'll try to make sure I name this in a way that is findable for those who break their helix floor. Thanks for watching.